In this case study, we'll explore the architecture of MongoDB, a leading NoSQL document database. We'll delve into its design and implementation, covering fundamental concepts and architectural patterns. You will learn how MongoDB's unique approach offers flexibility and scalability for modern applications. Let's begin by exploring the document model, which is a core part of MongoDB. First, it has a schema-flexible structure, which allows the structure of documents in a collection to be different. This is unlike relational databases, where you need to define the schema ahead of time. Secondly, it supports nested data, allowing you to embed related data within a single document. This reduces the need for joins and simplifies data retrieval. It uses BSON for storage, which is a binary representation of JSON documents. BSON is designed to be efficient for both storage and transmission. Also, it supports rich data types like arrays, dates, and other complex structures, making it easier to model your data. Now, let's discuss MongoDB's storage architecture, which is organized into three main layers. The application layer includes MongoDB drivers, connection pooling, and a query interface, which provides the tools for applications to interact with the database. The database layer features a query engine, index management, and an aggregation pipeline, which handles query execution, indexing, and complex data processing. Finally, the storage layer uses the WireTiger engine to manage memory and disk input-output operations, providing document-level concurrency control with compression and checkpointing. WireTiger is MongoDB's default storage engine. Next, let's explore indexing strategies in MongoDB. MongoDB supports various types of indexes to optimize query performance. Single field indexes are used for basic queries on a single field. Compound indexes combine multiple fields, which are useful for queries that involve multiple criteria. Text indexes supports full text search. Let us see an example of how to create them. To create a single field index, use the db.users.createIndex method, specifying the field, such as email, and the indexing order, such as one. For a compound index, use the db.orders.createIndex method, including all fields, such as status and date, and their respective orders, such as one or negative one. Now let's discuss replica sets, which are a crucial component for ensuring high availability in MongoDB. In a replica set, the primary node, also known as the master node, handles all write and read operations. Data is then replicated to secondary nodes, or replica nodes, to maintain data copies. This setup offers automatic failover. If the primary node fails, one of the secondaries is automatically elected as the new primary. This process ensures data redundancy and enables read scaling across distributed nodes. Next up is sharding architecture. Sharding is MongoDB's solution for horizontal scalability. The Mongos router directs queries and balances the load across shards. Each shard stores a subset of the data. For example, shard A might contain data from 0 to 33%, shard B from 34 to 66%, and shard C from 67 to 100%. This strategy allows for distributed data storage, improves performance, and provides seamless capacity expansion, making it ideal for managing large datasets. Let's examine the aggregation pipeline, which is a powerful framework for data processing in MongoDB. The pipeline consists of several stages, each performing a specific operation on the data. The match stage filters documents based on specified criteria. The group stage groups documents by a field and applies aggregation functions. The sort stage sorts the results. As an example of a pipeline, consider the code on the slide. The db.orders.aggregate method can be used with the match operator to filter orders with a completed status. It is also used with the group operator to group results by customer ID and calculate the total amount. Let's recap the key takeaways from our exploration of MongoDB's architecture. 
Its flexible schema allows the document-based model to adapt to evolving application requirements. Sharding enables horizontal scaling, distributing data storage across multiple servers. Replica sets ensure high availability with automatic failover and data redundancy. The rich query language, including the aggregation pipeline, enables complex data processing workflows. In conclusion, MongoDB's architecture delivers scalability, flexibility, and performance for modern applications. If you like this video, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Visit codelucky.com for more such useful content.